Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about on the day of your driving test, how to prepare and what do you expect on the day. This is what I'm going to share with you in this video. Let's start the lesson. Okay, so first of all, night before the test day, try to have some sleep. It will be difficult because if you are worried and you probably are and you probably will be a little nervous which is normal so sleeping could be a problem but try to have some sleep you've done all your driving so try not to think too much go to bed and try to have some sleep so number one is try to have some sleep night before so on the day you wake up first thing is make sure you accept that it is your test today and you are ready and you will pass your test today so first of all try to believe that okay because this is your test you've done all your driving you know how to drive the car you wouldn't be going to the test unless you're ready so you already accept and make sure you believe you can and that's the best way to start the day so number one wake up and make sure you believe you can do the test it's all in the mind isn't it it's the way you set your mind if you don't believe in your mind it will be difficult to make it believe to others first of all you need to believe you can only then you will be able to do the test okay so first thing you need to do is wake up and make sure you believe you can and you are ready for the test now if you are going to the test with your driving instructor your instructor will come and pick you up and hopefully you will have a lesson before the test minimum you will have one hour if you could have hour and a half is the best because for you to cover everything you need some time so one hour is okay, but I feel sometimes it's a bit too tight to cover everything. The last thing we need is to rush everything and go to the test by rushing. So you need some time to cover everything you need to do. So do a bit of driving, do your parking, do a maneuver, maybe do your emergency stop, go through the questions about the car, the show me, tell me questions. So all those things will take some time. One hour is good, like I said, but hour and a half is best. I've also given two hours before the test. So it depends on you. Some people can cope with two hours. They feel it's a bit too long, hour and a half. And also one hour is not a problem. So just before you leave home, make sure you take the documents with you. Take your driving license, which you will need. Without the license, you won't be able to do the test. So make sure you take your license with you. Also take your glasses, if you wear glasses or contact lenses, because the first thing the examiner will ask you to do is to read a number plate. And if you can't read, you will fail your test. So make sure if you need glasses or if you wear contact lenses, make sure you take them with you and also your driving license. So you'll go to the test center. You will wait for the examiner to come out. Examiner will come, call your name. You will go and you say, that's me, give your license. And the examiner will ask you to read and sign for insurance purpose. And then the examiner will ask you, do you want your instructor with you? then it's your choice whether to take your instructor with you or not. It's your choice. If you want the instructor to be with you, the instructor will come and sit at the back. If not, then you will go on your own. So you'll either say to the examiner, yes, I want my instructor with me or no, I don't. Then the examiner will say, show me your way to your car. So you will lead and you will go out to the car park of the test center and you will point, that's my car over there. And then the first thing the examiner will ask you to do is to read a number plate, like I said. That's the first thing you will have to do. So you read a number plate. After that, the examiner might ask you a question about show me, tell me questions. So sometimes they ask you one before you enter the car. They might say that, can you open the bonnet, for example. Or you will go in and then examiner will ask you the questions. One will be show me, one will be to tell me. So these are the two questions the examiner will ask you in the test. So then you come in and you take your seat. First thing you do is make sure you're comfortable. Don't move anything because you've been driving before you came to the test center. So everything should be okay. Don't move anything. The only thing you need to do is put your seatbelt on. Make sure many learners, sometimes they forget to put the seatbelt on. If you do and you drive, you will fail your test. So you come in, everything should be okay put your seatbelt on and just feel relaxed okay just think for a minute sit and just think for a minute just relax you're going to be a bit nervous but that's fine a little nervous is good but if you are over nervous you will fail your test make sure you just sit and take a deep breath and just think for a minute this is my test 
I've had all the lessons that I need and I'm ready for my test. Believe it, you will do it. Okay, so sit, sit belt on, take a moment and just breathe. And just breathe and prepare your mind that you are doing a test now. The test will last around 40 minutes. And within that test, the examiner might ask you to do an emergency stop. Now he might, remember, not everyone gets to do the emergency stop. You might get it, you might not. If you do, the examiner will ask you to stop somewhere safe on the left, and then he or she will tell you, we're gonna do an emergency stop. If they don't, you're not gonna get it. So don't think of the emergency stop, the whole test. If you're gonna get it, you're not gonna just get it all of a sudden. Examiner will ask you to stop first, and then he or she will tell you we're gonna do an emergency stop. If they don't, you're not getting it. And then you will drive as normal. When the examiner gives you direction and you forget the direction, you are allowed to ask. So if you forget the direction the examiner gives you, make sure you ask. You are allowed to ask, okay? Number two, for any reason you went the wrong way. So maybe you wanted to go left, but you went right. But you did signal, you looked at the mirror, you just went the wrong way. It doesn't mean you failed, okay? Going the wrong way doesn't mean you failed. As long as you looked at the mirror and you put the signal on, the examiner won't fail you for that because you're no danger to anyone. You just went the wrong way, which is fine. So if that happens, don't assume you failed. Going the wrong way doesn't mean you failed. As long as you've signaled the right way and you looked at the mirror, that is fine. Obviously, if you don't signal, and you went the wrong way, you will fail. Or if you signal the wrong way, for example, you signal left, but you went right, you will fail your test for that. All I'm saying, so for example, the examiner said for you to go right, but instead you looked at the mirrors, which is top and left, and you've signaled left and you went left. Is that mean you failed? No, because you looked at the mirrors, you put the signal on, you're not danger to anyone, okay? So going the wrong way is not a fail, as long as you've signaled the right way. The other thing is, when you make a mistake in the test, don't assume you failed. Remember, the examiner is not testing a qualified driver, okay? You are a learner, and the examiner is testing a learner. So you don't have to be perfect in driving, okay? You're going to make some mistakes. You are allowed 15 driver faults or minor faults, which means that you are not perfect when it comes to driving. You are a learner. Examiner knows that. So when you make a mistake, don't assume you failed. Because if you do, you will fail and then you realize at the end you didn't fail for that. You fail something after, but by then you've already gave up. So don't assume you failed just because you've done something wrong. Don't judge yourself because that's not your job. Your job is to drive. The examiner will do the judgment. That's their job, okay? At the end, they will decide whether you pass or not. That's not your job. So whatever you do in the test, throughout the test, Keep on going and don't assume you fail just because you've done something bad, okay? For example, if you ask me now, what if I touch the pavement? What does that mean? I will say it's a fail. But remember, it's not an automatic fail. It's not something going through a red light. So if it did touch the pavement in the test by mistake, don't assume because I've had many learners, they've touched the pavement and they've passed the test because it's not an automatic fail. It's not something illegal. It's not like going through a red light. It's not like not stopping on a stop line. So I'm not asking you to touch the pavement. All I'm saying, if you do make that mistake in the test and you've touched the pavement when you've stopped, don't assume you failed because many they've touched and they've passed the test. So all I'm saying to you is whatever you do in the test, don't be the judge. Don't decide whether you passed or you failed. Don't give up. That's not your job. Your job is to keep going to the end and the examiner will decide whether you passed or you failed okay so don't panic when something goes wrong because panic will lead you to nervous nervous will take you to anxiety and then everything's going to go wrong okay so when you do something wrong don't panic and also don't try to impress anyone only drive to impress yourself don't think that this is my test and i have to drive differently you drive exactly like you did with the driving instructor you do exactly what the instructor told you to do. Everything you need, you've learned in your lesson. Do what you did in the lesson. Don't do anything different. Many learners, they go to the test and their mindset is different. They think, well, it's a test. I can't do my lesson now. I have to do something different. And that's when you fail. Do what you've been doing with the driving instructor. Your instructor told you exactly what you need to do in every situation. All you do is put that into practice in your driving test.
okay you're not impressing anyone all you're doing is showing what you know showing what you are taught to do and that's all you're doing okay so just to remind you allowed 15 driver faults or minor faults if you get 16 you will fail or if you get one serious or one danger you will fail your test okay so you're not allowed any serious or any danger but on the minor or driver faults you are allowed 15 if you get 16 you will fail so what happens at the end you come to the test center as you are coming into the test center make sure that you don't give up at that point because you are coming in just make sure that it's nearly finishing the nerve is going to go up your blood pressure is going to go up because it's nearly finishing just stay calm come into the test center and then park your car nicely drive where the examiner asks you to drive in nicely go in stop handbrake on neutral done and now the examiner will tell you whether you passed or you failed hopefully you've passed congratulations the examiner will ask you now whether for them to take the license if you want the examiner to take the license what they will do is they will take it and you will get the license coming to your door within two to three weeks or you could take the license you go to the post office get the form and then you apply it or send it by yourself but my advice is give it to the examiner and you should get the license within three weeks okay so that's it for this video and i hope this video helps and i wish you all the best i hope you pass your test and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now